Hello, traders. Mark Pre Markets here. My name is Mark Principato, and I'm a chartered market technician. And thank you for watching another Bitcoin video analysis here on TradingView. So, in this session, I'm back on Bitcoin because it's having its move. Okay, I spent the previous couple of weeks looking at other markets like Link and like uh, Tezos because this thing was not going anywhere, but we were still long. And that's one of the lessons that I want to talk about today. So with that being said, let's get started. This is for educational purposes only. For investment advice, please consult the licensed investment advisor. Now, we have been long Bitcoin since June 28th. Okay, so let's go back. June 28th. That was back here. All right. Back here. We're along from 92 and a quarter. We had held on to this thing for a month, all right, before we're starting to see a result. Now, we've been long. We sat through all this noise. People are telling us to short. We're wrong, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Today, it has reached our second target of 10,150 in that area there. It's below the target, but we have reduced our risk by two thirds at this point, which means we are a strong hand. And we have a third target that's in the, in the mid 10, six area. And now we can just let this thing run and do what it has to do without having to worry about it because our risk has been reduced by two thirds on this particular swing trade. So if you're not in this thing, what do you do now? Well, here's the thing. This thing is in this zone, this resistance zone, as you can see, and it price is reacting to it, 95.64 to 10.168. I've talked about this for months and months and months. And as you can see, this resistance zone has been in play for uh, quite some time here, You know, going back to February, actually even before that. So we're still getting the same type of behavior. Does that scare us out of our one third of our position? No, because we have this breakout, we have this momentum going. Even if we get the bearish pin bar, we're going to hold. But the question is, what do you do if you're not long? Well, like I said, this is not the place to be getting long. This is a place to be reducing risk. Now, the next thing we'd be waiting for on something like this is a retrace, okay? If we were going to put on more of a position or send out a new swing trade idea, um, you know, we'd look for a higher low somewhere along the way. And the, the nearest inflection point is that 9,500 area at this point. Okay. Now, does that mean it will turn and bounce there? There's no way to know. But if it gives us the right setup, then that would be a place to consider risk. Otherwise, you're looking at the 9,000 level. What kept us in this trade the entire time, no matter what people said, no matter what the news said, all that other nonsense, what kept us in the trade was the probability of the location, okay? Um, this thing is in a consolidation. It has been for some time. This entire consolidation is one broad higher low relative to the structure that we've seen since the March bottom. Higher lows, where, where there are higher lows, typically leads to higher highs. That's going to be one of the um, themes in my webinar that I'm going to be doing here in an hour. So I have to be brief about this video. By the way, if you want to check out that webinar, go to my website on the link on my uh, signature. Go find my YouTube channel or go to YouTube, search Greenbridge Investing, and I'm going to be simulcasting my webinar on there. If you can figure all that out, great. Hope to see you there. All right. Now, so um, again... This is a place to be reducing risk or we let this thing retrace and we look to buy into the pullback. Now, another great thing here, what I like about what's going on in this rally is other we have other markets like Ethereum. OK, look at this thing. This thing is now starting to outperform Bitcoin, this huge breakout. Again, this is not where you want to be buying it. OK, this is a this is a, a very risky area. But if you're in something like this, beautiful move and, of course, time to unload risk wait for a retrace. The point is, these things are beginning to outperform, which is a sign of a frothy market. All right. So anyway, I just want to leave you with a couple of those ideas. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to share them in the comments section or send me a message if you'd like, and I'll do my best to respond. Um, again, patience pays. You just have to have a process that you're confident in. And that's what we had that allowed us to hold on to Bitcoin for basically an entire month before we started to realize some gains. People that are chasing news and chasing you know, comments and, and other people's trade ideas that are based on 15 minute charts, you're gonna find yourself having a very hard time because any money that you make, you're going to give back inside of these type of consolidations, okay? So all we had to do was sit back and wait. That was it. 
Um, all right, so that's it. I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you again for watching. Um, I hope to see you at the webinar. I'll talk to you next time. My name is Mark P. Markets. Thank you again.